Hey, so I'm going to be showing another build that you could be using in a PvP. So, most of you who don't know, I play random. I'm in Diamond League 1v1. For all the other leagues, I'm placed in Masters, but I personally think that was just based on luck. But anyways, in this build in PvP, I'm going to fast forward here. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to get three gateways. And the reason why you want to get three gateways is because... If the other Protoss player plans to put on some pressure on you, you could easily warp in units to be able to fend off that pressure. And after those three gateways, you're going to put down a robotics facility. And once you get enough money, put down a second robotics facility. Now, this may sound strange, but the reason why you want to put down the second robotics facility is to not double the Colossus production. Uh, you wouldn't be able to afford it uh, based on having two gas, but you would double the mortal production. So you, you're not going to be able to produce three gateways and two robotics off of one base. But you'll definitely be able to get two immortals off of one base pretty easily. And I know this because I used to one base, go double factory and get uh, two tanks at once. And I was able to even support that with getting mass marines. So... It was a pretty effective Terran build that I was using. I would even get a barracks to lift up to view the other person's base and I would be able to show away at whatever buildings were on the side and it was particularly very effective when they went for natural but anyways that's not the point I'm just kind of rambling here kind of explaining a different build so uh, the first thing you're you're going to want to do is you're going to want to produce an immortal and then after you get that immortal you're, you're going to want to get that observer. And as we can see, if we pause at that part of the game, he had an observer over here for a little bit and he saw that I went double robotics. Uh, the usual counter to this build is you want to go some Stargate or you get Charge Lots. Charge Lots is pretty effective against Mass Immortals because they can they act as Zerglings and they get a surround on your whole entire army. But Immortals are pretty OP. They do a lot of damage. Like 50 verse armor, 20 verse light or whatever unit it is. A Z lot has like 150 health total, so it takes, let's do the math here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, roughly 7 to 8 shots. And basically, that just equates to rape. I don't know how else to put it. So you could kite the Z lots as well if they don't have charge. Because they have the same movement speed and the AI on Zealots is kind of dumb. They'll go in front of each other and they'll mess up trying to attack one immortal. Especially you don't want to focus fire because the AI will just go crazy and most of them won't be attacking. So kiting is pretty effective with immortals and the way you just kite is you basically just right click back, A click forward and pretty nice. Now what I'm doing over here is... I'm using the observer for the high ground and I keep sniping off stalkers and stalkers are considered armored and they have 160 health total and I was able to snipe off another stalker there weak and a couple others and I'm just kind of going back and forth now he's getting immortals as well he's trying to produce as many mortals as possible to get the same army composition as mine but if we look at the units lost tab I'm already pretty far ahead uh we have the same uh amount of units all the other stuff if we look at the workers he overproduced in workers so he might have been able to hold off this push if he focused a little bit more getting a fourth gateway producing a few more zealot stalkers then he would have been able to push this back but you just have to keep in mind mortals do an insane amount of damage and they're super easy to kite with uh, when you kite though, you want to individually micro the immortals because when you move one back, they try to go in front of the immortals. You only want to micro immortal if it's on the side like this. If it's positioned over here, it's going to try to go through instead of go around. You would have to shift click. So after that battle engagement, I felt pretty confident and I move forward and I snipe off another immortal. Luckily, he doesn't get that other immortal and he starts focus firing on that other one. And with two stalkers, I was able to push that back. I was kind of surprised. And I just keep reinforcing immortals. My rally point for the robotics facilities is set over here. Actually, on the stalker now. And I was just able to move pretty efficiently. I was 
he made a slight mistake over here. He had his units over here. I was able to snipe off a couple more mortals. For some reason, he's still making probes because why not? He has excess money. And uh, I kind of made a mistake. My observer was over here. I thought it was somewhere over here. Otherwise, I would have been able to do even more damage to this army. Plus, I would have been able to snipe this observer. But regardless... I was still able to push forward and with, win within 13 minutes in the game. And this build is really effective if the person goes, let's say, for Colossus. Now, you may think uh, that's kind of ridiculous, but it's actually really effective against Colossus because uh, you're not going to be able to afford that Thermal Lance. And if you go for it, you're pretty much going to lose the game because that's 200 minerals, 200 gas. Because by the time I move out, you're going to need those extra two Z-Lots or two Stalkers. Whatever you plan to get when this push comes out. And if they go for a Nexus and Colossus, that's basically a game-winning maneuver. But let me just reiterate. This build is very weak against mass charge lots. And I'm just assuming that I've never encountered that situation before. But... If just imagine a bunch of zealots getting surrounded on this army. If they're backed up into a corner, then I would say no, zealots aren't very effective against this build. But if we look at the rate of fire, I, I'm just surprised how good immortals are for zealots in some circumstances. Depends on the positioning, depends on the AI, how well you A click. And A clicking is a pretty important part of this game. And yeah, I have one immortal over here. Kind of my mistake, not rallying it over. But still able to win. And uh, yeah, if the person goes Void Rays or Phoenixes, you're pretty much screwed. Unless if the person just gets pure stalkers and immortals. Not like pure stalkers, just gets a composition of stalkers and immortals. It's... I don't even know if that could even hold it off because Stalkers do so well versus Void Rays. They're practically worthless against Toss. Pretty good against Corruptors, but uh, I would imagine uh, Phoenixes lifting up the Stalkers or the Mortals. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this bill would actually be countered with air, but definitely Charge Lots will do pretty well. So anyways, uh, I hope you learned something. And uh, yeah.